Hi, this is Sandy again, speaking about the abuse at the animal shelter. And I wanted to say there is a solution for this kind of abuse. And the solution is an equal money system. The reason I say that is, one, in an equal money system, people will not be working, doing their jobs, their crafts, creating, whatever it is they're doing, for salary, payment, hourly wages. They'll be performing duties and then also expressing themselves in other ways, contributing to, the, to their world. So there wouldn't be a shelter for profit. They wouldn't be cutting back to save money to get some more money in their pockets or whatever. Uh, so there would not be that pressure there of saving money, cutting back. Another reason why an equal money system would be a solution to this kind of sick abuse is because um, the people that would be working in a place like that, uh, really the video showed one man, uh, I believe that a lot of time people are driven, not an excuse, trying to state some facts, that are driven to these acts of cruelty because of a lifetime of stresses and suppressions and they act out. They've been trying to survive in a world that isn't working for them and they act out. Now some people act out by hurting themselves, use drugs and alcohol for example. Other people act out more forcefully outside and hurt others, animals, uh, children, easy targets. Um, I believe an equal money system would solve a lot of that kind of physical and mental abuse to oneself and someone else. So they, they wouldn't just be able to walk around uh, these carcasses and, and watch an innocent animal writhing in pain because they wouldn't have had all these years building up. They'd be more at one with themselves and the earth and have a lot more peace. They've, they're taken care of. An equal money system, you're provided with what you need. So there's no struggle for survival. You are, you are provided with what you need. You have a home and a warm place to sleep at night. You have food. You have uh, no threat of your electricity going off. No threat of being homeless. So a lot of these, these things are taken away. Which stops a lot of other abuse right from the very beginning. If you look at it and think about it. And... Uh, Finally, there would be much more accountability because, again, taking away the pro profit motive um, from this institution or agency, whether it's a government-run agency, because governments still have uh, want profit, want to fill their pockets, right? The individuals and the group still want to get rich. So whether it's privately owned or government owned, if there's going to be more accountability because we're not going to be these uh, isolated groups, going to be one group with different pockets doing different jobs, of course. But this person wouldn't be left just to go crazy in his little in his little world there and do whatever make any decisions he wants that day. So there'd be much more accountability. Things will be more visible. There won't be so so much secretivism. There's no one's no one can make these huge profits. A lot more equality equals more visibility. And that man unfortunately had to be exposed through a person posing to be an employee at that shelter.
Uh, so please check out Destiny. Um, we have a solution. Um, and it's me, woman. Thank you.